how did you navigate that in terms of you know the learning process or new skills that you had to develop along the way like how did you know where to start I purchased every book in private therapy practice I could find there weren't very many at the time you know this is now I think we're going on you know, almost a decade, but there weren't very many, you know, from the standpoint of an MD, they were all, you know, from a master's through a PhD level clinician, but super helpful. So I read everything that I could. And there were several that outlined, you know, where so start with who would you like to not see and why? Um, and so really getting to know and understand, exploring what do you love? What do you not love? Why would you not like to see certain patient populations? Um, and realizing that most of that came down to, I think we sometimes think we should be able to see everyone, but realizing that a lot of it comes down to what can you do within a single person private practice um, instead of maybe a multi-systemic you know, place where maybe you know, some people who need more of those, those groups of clinicians you know, to be able to experience their ideal healthcare, that needs to happen in a different setting. Um, so I got every book I could. Um, and then, you know, the business aspects were harder because I, I didn't have a great place. I think now there are more resources for physicians wanting to learn the business side of medicine or just business. At the time, I either just couldn't find them or um, I just kept landing in, in very difficult and challenging concepts. But I do remember the morning that I opened, I had a credit card running machine and I called, um, you know, my best friend from medical school who had been doing private practice for a long time in Chicago. And I was panicking. I said, Mark, I don't know how to run the credit card machine. What if I can't run the credit card machine? He's like, you will take down the number. We will figure out how to key it in later. And I'm like, I'm looking at this thing and I don't know how to do it. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. And I, I, I sat there thinking, okay, I've worked in prisons. I have worked with very high risk populations. I've worked at Bellevue and a, a credit card machine is going to take me down this afternoon. 